wet shavers. Just got out of the shower. Got some crazy hair going here. Perhaps I need to style it, I don't know. Anyway, kind of a simple shave for you. Use my Arco stick. I've just held hot water against my face with a washcloth, like I always do. But in setting up the camera, the water dried. So, my face wet here. Got my shave shirt on. Okay, wet the uh, Arco here. Go against the grain. Cross grain here, I guess. Wet the tip again. Just hopped off the phone with Carl. Had a good chat. Set that down. Slick. I'm gonna go pick up my daughter after this shave, so I kinda gotta scooch. But I just wet down my brush, which is the Razor Rock 400. And it's kind of wet, not really big time. The idea will be to spread this around and then add water afterwards. My apologies to other channels. I'm adding water to the tip of this brush. My apologies to other channels. I haven't been watching. I really don't have time with all of the hours I'm putting in. When I get home, I'm exhausted. You may also be able to tell that I haven't done a video in a while. A little more water. My apologies to everybody. Please don't be offended. Okay. There we are. Okay, a couple more things to cover in the video here. Gillette Slim Twist, and again, a Dorco Prime. This is a new one. No uses on that. Twist to open, has some overhang, so you have to watch it around the nose area. No big deal though, excellent razor. Um, I see the notifications for the videos. I do hop on YouTube a little bit to uh, handle comments. Sometimes certain replies I can't handle it on YouTube Creator Studio. I have to actually go to YouTube to reply to the comment here and there. Anyway, I notice uh, the thumbnails and all of the uh, videos everybody's putting out and it seems to me that everybody's trying to put something new out a new product a new soap like every video and it's like you almost never see a repeat of a soap seeing thumbnails of what seems like every soap from a particular soap company and it's kind of like you know you're buying the same thing and just a different smell right so why don't you buy the unscented one and then buy all of the different aftershaves just a thought 
I know you want the whole experience, but for me, this Arco that I put on, I've had this sitting out for a long time. It doesn't really smell anymore. Just slightly. It doesn't smell like much. And it's to the point to where I could wear any aftershave after that and it's not going to clash with it. There is one soap that I'm going to look to buy. I don't know which scent, but the soap company is recommended by my favorite soap maker, Russ Barton at Wild West Shaving Company does recommend Uncle John's. So at some point I'll have an Uncle John's soap. But I couldn't tell you the last time I looked on eBay for a shaving soap or a razor. Seems like I found a couple that work real well for me. An open comb, an Edwin and Jagger style, this thing, the, uh, the white sheet, and the other two razors that are the same thing from Sheldon Quinn. I mean, those are fun. Um, the Parker variant and... What's the other one I really like? Merca Progress. I really, really want another razor. Everybody's telling me that the... The one, uh... The one razor, I can't remember the name of it. Carve. Starts with a K. Carve. Um, see, that's fantastic. Well... It shouldn't be for a hundred dollars. And I'm saving for the winter. I want some spending money. I have some fun with my friends or whatever. And my den, golly, I've got soaps and aftershaves and all that. And I can't just I can't justify adding more to it. So maybe that kind of came off as uh, whiny. <laughs> To quote Tim, now uh, maybe that came off as whiny, I hope it didn't, but I'm just letting you know, I don't think I'm going to buy too much from here on out. Um, Gillette, a friend of mine told me that Gillette's coming out with a new one. Maybe that was the one you guys were talking about already. A friend, she wants a shout out, so Rachel, shout out. Friend of mine, she likes watching football. We caught a game together um, on the television Thursday night. That was cool. Bengals won. Okay, non adjustable. So when you would adjust, this is where you just make sure it's tight. Go cross grain. This razor is excellent. Such a comfortable shave. All right, Rachel, you take care. Brother, I love you and uh I yes, sir, I really, really am serious because I really want you to talking about visiting a I guess a pastor from a church, dad's a minister. Uh, I'm amphibious, so left-handed. All right.
Sorry, I can't talk when I'm doing that right there. Now, apparently Dad was talking about visiting a, uh, an old pastor friend of his. I don't know who, but he said, get in a car, drive, and come see ya. It could be anywhere in Indiana. I mean, it could be anywhere. When I was a kid, he used to drive around the country and kind of preach from church to church in our church organization. So I got to see a lot of the country on the eastern half, if you will. We did visit New Mexico. That was neat. By the way of Mecca. Uh, Mexico, by the way of um, Texas. Just a whole lot of nothing in Texas. There's miles and miles and miles of trees. Little bushes and trees. Not very tall. A whole lot of nothing. Yeah, this is fantastic. I love this. So I'm not in search for the perfect razor and blade combo anymore. I have Dorco Primes, which work well in most of my razors. And I have Gillette 7 o'clock yellows, which work well in the ones that the primes don't work well in. And in, I mean, they have razors that they work well in with in common, so that's kind of neat. Uh, one little nick there, and I might have gotten a bump or two over there, no big deal. But, I'm gonna actually rinse. Okay. If you don't have any, get some Witch Hazel, any brand, please. If you're getting irritation, this will help. I think this is what most wet shavers weren't doing before they switched to, e, to DE shaving and then started doing. Just a little more. Which is why they have an easier time with it now. Bath and Body Works, there it is. Noir, noir, which means black, French. About that much, probably too much, but I'm gonna, any, any excess is gonna end up up here. Ah, uh, it's not gonna be bad at all. This one's nice. Okay, well, it was a good shave. And I hope you're having good shaves. Hope everything's going okay for you. And uh, I hope your weekend went well. And I wish you a good week next week. So with that said, uh, happy shaving and take care.